For past 20 days, I have been wondering what I should make my video on. And every time I asked this question over LinkedIn or Instagram, I got same response again and again. It was about how to apply for an internship. And to be honest, I never wanted to touch this topic because quite frankly, I feel I'm not very qualified to talk about it. So this video is not about how to apply for an internship. Rather, it is about how do I apply for an internship. And if you want to know more about my past and present internship, you can check out my LinkedIn page. I have also uploaded a copy of my CV there for your reference. And link is in the description. Now coming back to the video, the first question that pops up is why people intern? And broadly there are two reasons. First is to learn the practical nuances of law and secondly to convert it into job. See, for first four years I have been interning to learn the nuances of law and also give value to the firm. And in my final year I am interning to get the job. And that's why people intern. Now another question comes, whether is there any magic pill to get internships? To be honest and particularly for me and probably for everyone out there, there is no magic pill to get an internship. Now giving my personal example, if I apply for an internship, 60% of the time I don't get any response whatsoever. 30% of the time it is clear rejection and 10% of the time there is an acceptance. Now after hearing all this thing, if you still want to know how I apply for an internship, great. Now there are broadly three ways of getting internship personal contacts, professional contacts, or through email or through going to the website. Let's talk first personal contacts. So as the name suggests, if you get internship through your papa, mummy, chacha, chachi, tau, mama, mommy, etc. If you get reference through these people to get an internship, that is getting an internship through personal contacts. And that is the most easiest way of getting internship. And I always wish to have this door open for me. Now personal contacts, a big no for me. Now coming to the second way of getting internship through professional contact. Now these people are the people who refer you for an internship and these people are the one whom you have networked with with your own capability. Now there are many ways to create professional contacts and I usually do this for freelancing or part-time job. But can you hit an internship through professional contacts? And the answer is yes you can. And now the question comes how you create the professional contacts. Well it's a very huge topic and if I sit to explain how to do that it would take an entire day or probably a 15 minute long video. But if I have to brief it up like how to create such contacts I would say open your LinkedIn account, follow and connect with the industry experts, read and appreciate their contribution. You contribute to the platform through your own publications or your videos or your posts. Keep on interacting with them, majorly by supporting their content, maybe through comments or resharing. You don't want to actually go and barge into their messaging at first day. Many find it very intrusive. Hence, it's a very slow process. And once you interacted with them for a very long time, later on, maybe after a month or two, you can bring up this topic if they are hiring for an intern. And considering the fact that in that period in your LinkedIn, you have kept posting about that practice areas, maybe IPR, you have posted a lot of content about IPR, a lot of published paper on IPR, videos on IPR, then there is a chance that you, the person you are interacting with, the person who knows what you are contributing to this field, may hire you for the position of an intern. Now coming to the third way of getting internship, and that's my favorite one, through emailing and to visit the firm's website. You simply mail them or you simply just go to their website and apply for an internship. That's it. Easy, right? No. See, if you're applying for an internship through email or visiting the firm's website, then your CV and cover letter plays a very important role. You just don't send one CV to all the places or maybe one cover letter to all the places. You don't. To get an idea what I'm talking about, you can see this. This is the number of CV I have right now in my computer. See, the main purpose is to diversify your CV. If you're applying for an IP internship, your CV should be full of your IP achievements. Same for arbitration, private equity or general corporate as the case may be. And one of the most important thing is that there is no shortcut to it. You can't just take a CV of someone else, copy it, paste it and send it to them. You have to do your homework before that. And that happens in your law school journey. In your law school, you have to be diverse. So for example, you don't have any internship right now. You only have your college classes going on. Then in such period, you are obligated to do certain things. You have to publish research paper. You have to participate in moot. You have to participate in different events. And the reason being, let me elaborate. If you're publishing research paper, publish at least three to four research paper to every practice areas. Maybe three to four research paper on IPR, three to four research paper on arbitration, three to four research paper on private equity, three to four research paper on white collar crimes, etc. and etc. Similarly, participate in moot and take part in other competition. For example, you may take part in arbitration moot, you can take part in IP moot, you can take part in constitutional law moot. Now, at this point, you are done with the diversification. Now, the second step is to go and apply for an internship. Here, if you're applying for an internship, you'll have to see what is the firm's practice area or what that advocate practice at first place. You just can't go and barge into a law firm applying for an internship which totally practice 
on matrimonial laws and you go and apply there for general corporate and i know it's super obvious but i have seen so many applications where people just go and copy paste their whole application and sell it to all the law firms in some cases they bcc everyone 100 law firms at once and to be honest i once did that in my first or second year now you have clarified what their practice area is then you craft your cv and your cover letter accordingly now taking an example you applied for an ipr internship there you craft your cv and cover letter as in that you have published four ipr research paper you took part in an ip moot you went and present a paper on ipr in ipr seminar or maybe you took part in trademark prosecution competition did you get it in your cv and your cover letter both of these are jam packed with the green signals for the law firm or the advocate signaling them that this is the candidate you are searching for and if you do all these things correctly there's a very higher chance that you get an internship right there now before concluding this video i would like to say that in most cases law firm reject your application and in worst case scenario they won't even reply so there is a reason for that for a tier one law firm maybe there are five slots for the month of october and there would be 1000 application for the same or probably more now they have to select only five candidates and they would reject 995 candidates and this in no manner whatsoever imply that those 995 candidates were bs they were not if you didn't get the internship for a particular slot try to utilize that period for your academics you can go write paper publish paper present it or probably take part in different moods or different events seminar etc or probably you could go for freelancing as well so if you do not get internship right there do not dishearten yourself take it as an opportunity to spice up your career or maybe giving more time to your family members now if this video gave any value to you hit the like button and in future if you would want to see more such content hit the subscribe button